Well, they've done it, folks. The mad scientists at UC Berkeley and some shadowy Japanese lab have cracked open your skull without even touching it. Scientists just built an AI that can basically read your mind. That's right, guys. Scientists have just released an AI that can crack open your brain and spill out your thoughts like a grocery list. They're calling it mind captioning, and it's not some lab toy. It's barreling towards us ready to turn your silent dreams into typed out confessions. If you think your browser history is bad, just wait until they get a hold of what's really bouncing around in there. I warned that they were working on this years ago in my video, New Thought Police Tool. AI mind reading produces video of human thoughts in real time, and mind reading AI recreates what you're looking at. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, here we are one year later, and now this new AI can read your mind and print out your thoughts. So how does this monster work? Well, here's the crazy part, because it's both genius and terrifying at the same time. Researchers from UC Berkeley and Japan's NTT Communication Science Lab fed an AI beast over 2,000 short video clips. It scans through them, pairing every single flash of action with captions, like dude jumps off a cliff or cat knocks over a vase. The AI then spits out meaning signatures, digital fingerprints of what your eyes just gobbled up. Then, and here's the gut punch, they hook up volunteers to a massive MRI scanner, make them watch the same clips, and then map those brain fireworks to the signatures. And so now they can point this brain decoder to fresh new brain scans and it guesses what you are seeing. Not just something happening, but full sentences. In one test, someone watches a guy jumping off of a roaring waterfall and the AI's first go at it, spring flow. Close, but not quite close enough. A few tweaks later, and the AI says, a person jumps over a deep waterfall on a mountain ridge. It nailed it. And get this, from a hundred possible videos, it gets the right one 50% of the time. Half the time. That's not a glitch. That's a gateway to your gray matter. And they're already dreaming up applications for this. Like helping the paralyzed communicate through thinking. Sounds noble, right? Until you realize, who's defining communications. Who decides what thoughts are worth decoding? And what happens when they skip the MRI machine? Because mark my words, that's coming next.